Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Glitter Planet acrylics that I purchased recently. So I've got three um, acrylic collections in this box and also I purchased their um, full matte glitter, loose glitters. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to leave you just watch the unboxing part of it and then when I come back to do the swatches I will um, talk you through uh, the colours and what I think of them.
Okay, so this is the last of the glitters and I'm going in to uh, swatch you the circus collection. So let's just wait for this last one. If you want me to, I can do a swatch video of the acrylics, the glitters as well, mixed with acrylic. I don't mind doing that if you want to see them. So first off, we're going in with Showgirl. So Showgirl is a white with some um, like iridescent glitter in it. Um, I'm hoping once I've swatched it that you can see the shimmer properly with my camera set up. Um, as this one's glitter, I do like to swatch it on the inside. With it being fine, I could have done it on the um, on the top like I do with the colours. But I've just got into the habit of doing glitter ones on the inside of a swatch stick. So next off, we're going in with Fire Eater. So again, these are all from the Circus Collection by Glitter Planet. They, um, I have used Glitter Planet's products before. I do have some more of their collections here, but um, I purchased these ones uh, recently, so I thought I'd, um, yeah, just come and show you, do a quick swatch video of showing them all. Um, I have sped this up just to make it a little bit shorter because there is three collections to show you. So again, that one was Fire Eater. The next one we're going in with is Custard Pie. So this one's a nice, like, deep yellow. <clears throat> so let me know in the comments if any of you have tried Glitter Planet's acrylic system or not. I, um, I, I previously have, like I said, I have um, already got their pastel collection and the other one I've got is, um, I've got all their base glitters, the super fine ones. I can't remember what the name of the collection was for that one, but they're all super fine glitters that you can put a, put a thin layer down and then you can put chunky glitters over the top of it so you don't have any little gaps. So they're, they're pretty cool. Okay, so the next one is Clown. Now... This one is a lime green, and you can sort of tell it on the picture. There you go, when I get close up, you can see it. Excuse me. So again, we're going in. They, these polymerize really nice, and because they're coloured acrylics, I use them as a paint. So I like to paint, paint them on to get the full coverage colour instead of building up like you would with a, a core colour because colours don't have strength in them they're literally there just for colour purposes so yeah I like to uh, just paint them on and build up the coverage that way and it, it, it saves on product as well because obviously the colour ones are more expensive than a clear and these pots that I'm using now they're actually a 10 gram pot so it's a nice size for, like I say, coloured acrylics. So this one is Ring Master. <clears throat> if I remember rightly, they've all got like a, a slight little bit of a shimmer in the the colours. Um, oops, that was my phone. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, let me silent. So yeah, this is a nice red. How is everyone doing? I hope you're enjoying my videos that I am posting for you. Is there anything that you would like me to, to try or if you're not sure how to do it, comment below and um, I'll do my best to help you out. So this one we're going in now is Esther Elephant. So I'm I'm guessing I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So um if I'm not and you know what the actual 
proper pronunciation is, then just let me know. So again, that was the, the nice grey one. So this one is called Harlequin. This one is actually my favourite colour because I, I do like my pinks and purples and just the, the colour shift in this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, right, sorry about that. One of the other kids came round. Um, so yeah, again, we're going in with Harley Quinn. Let me know down in the comments what your favourite colour is. It doesn't have to be from like this collection. It can be any, any colour, or if you like any of the ones in the collection, let me know. I, uh, I will be doing um, some sets using these uh, in the upcoming videos. Um, I've got a few ideas in mind. I am um, just trying to make my way through some editing at the minute because I've been poorly, so I haven't been able to catch up on everything. So I'm just sorting that out before I um, go and create some more uh, videos for you. So this one we're going in with now is High Flyer. So this one's a really nice green. I'm not really a lover of green, but I do like this one. It's it's not too dark and it's it's not too light either. So these do, as you can see, these swatch really nicely. They're nice and smooth. They polymerize really quick. So once I have gone through all of these, I will show them all next to each other. So this one is called Ice Slush. This is a really nice blue. See that glitter. So with, with these, it, it's hard to know what to sort of say in, in between while you're doing the swatches. So um, yeah, I'm I'm getting there. My my first um, unboxing I actually did live, but. Um, I've had some of the, the children off poorly, so I couldn't do them live. So I've had to um, re record them and then do the voiceover. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, this one was Ice Slash. So the next one we're going in with is Contourist. Yeah, I can't quite say that one for some reason. I was saying it just now. Contortionist. There we go. Had to break it down a little bit. So this one is a nice gold. It's not gold gold. It's like a... Um, oh, so it's like a reddish, reddy gold. And I don't know if you can hit my cat in the background there meowing she wants a bit of attention so yeah that one was contortionist so this one we're going in with now is called a snake charmer so this one is a nice green but for me i i don't think i would actually wear it i may i may do a set for purposes for videos but it's not a colour that I would actually wear. But then I never know because I've not actually worn the colours. So it's quite nice doing this and you get to find out what other colours suit you, even if you're not quite sure if you like them or not. They always look a bit different when you uh, put them on yourself and do a set with them. So yeah, we've got this next one coming up is Freak Show. And then we do have one more after this. So this one is a really deep grey. It almost looks black, but it's quite a deep grey. Again, with the glitter in it. So I, I, I love the fact that these have all got like a little, little bit of shimmer to them. So they're not a solid colour. But the pigmentation on them is really good. You can just see with that one. I hardly had to use much acrylic at all. 
so yeah that was that one and now the next one we're going in with is called Houdini so this one's quite a dark colour as well <coughs> oh, excuse me Yeah, I I love watching swatch videos. It's it's nice to see. It's better than just because sometimes trying to find colours that you like, it's hard to to find the right ones. But you can almost sort of tell what they're going to be like when you watch a, a swatch video, and you can see them better. Because sometimes photos they just don't do it justice. So yeah, so I'm now going to pick them all up and um, try and show you them all together. I was, excuse me, I was a bit out of shot um, to start with, but I did uh, sort of look and manage to correct myself so you could see them all. So yeah, I'm just trying to get them all, all in line. Just look at these colours. So yeah, we've got these ones and then I've got two more to swatch after this to show you. So we'll uh, we'll get onto those ones in a minute. So here's that collection with them top goated. Love them. So we're going into the next collection now which is the metallic collection. So again, these are all the all the colour ones are ten gram jars. So this first one is called Sunshine. Just see how pigmented they are. They're they're really. Um, uh, amazing products to work with and this this uh, these swatches should go a little bit quicker because there's not as many as the previous uh, collection was so now this one is called steel blue so my camera does pick up a little bit with the, the blue sort of shift with it I know it looks a bit more grey, but it is, it is got a, a little slight blue. I think you should be able, I think if I remember right, you see it better with it um, top coated just because of the lighting angle. It's a little bit better that way. But um, yeah, in this video, I am testing out some new lighting, and so far, they are looking a lot better than my previous ones. Um, so yeah, we will, we'll, keep testing them out and see how I get on. The main thing is when it comes to like taking pictures after, that's where I struggle with getting a good picture. But for the videos, it's doing really good for the videos. So yeah, if I do enjoy it and it works, works really good, then I will start putting that in the comments as well in case you're wondering what it is that I use lighting wise. So that colour I've just swatched was called Bora Bora. I actually love that blue. Again, I'm not really a, a blue blue lover, but it when when you see the colours, you think actually, yeah, uh, I do like that. I could I could wear that. So uh, yeah, if uh, I know I've probably said it in this before, but if there's any colours in there that you'd like me to see to create a set with. Comment them down below and uh, give me some ideas of what to do because sometimes I do struggle with ideas. Um, so this one that we're doing now is called Romantic. Now purple, me me and purples and pinks, I love purples and pinks. As you can see I've got two sets on with pink and I love doing both my hands different because I do them at different times. So uh, yeah, I do I do one hand and then I'll do the other. 
So yeah, this one we're going in with now is called Hot Topic. But just just look how pigmented they are. I know I keep saying it, but the especially with the the bright colors like this, and there's no marbling. With some colors you get that are, are bright, you can you can have marbling, but you don't have any of that with these products. So here we go, that's Hot Topic. And then this one we're going in with now is called Sunset. Now I do love this orange. I, I do like to wear like an orange in like the autumn time. I never thought I would wear orange, but like I say, being a nail tech, you test out all these new colours and you find other colours that you actually like that you didn't think you did. So it's all good. Okay, so the next one we're going in with is called Peacock Green. The, the two sets that I've got up actually you would have seen in my previous two videos. So if you've not seen them, I will link them in the cards. Because, um, they're up on my channel now. So obviously they'll be, they'll be before this, this set. So yeah, I will link them in the cards if you want to see how I uh, created those ones, including the 3D rows on my left hand. So yeah, that was Peacock Green. And next we're going in with Elegance. So it's nice with, with these collections. You've got colours that you can use all year round. They're not just for like summer or autumn or winter. You can literally just use them all year round. gorgeous colours. So the last one in this collection we're going in with is called Chestnut. And again I will show you them all together after and then show you them all top coated as well which I did forget to say with the um, last set I did. And then we've just got one more set to go after that, which has only got a few few colours in it anyway, so that one doesn't take long. And it's my favourite set, which is why I've left it to last. I absolutely love this set. And I created a set on a client the other day using all the all the colours as well. Um so yeah, that 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 was really nice. So if you want to see that bit that um, the picture. I didn't actually record her nails, but if you want to see that picture, um, head over to my Instagram and the picture will be up on there. So yeah, these are all the colours from the metallic collection. And here they are all swatched. Uh, not swatched, top coated, shall I say. So we're now going in with the last collection, which is called frilly knickers so yeah these are amazing so that it's hard to explain what they're like but they're almost like a milk bath um effect with like you've got like shards of um angel paper and i can't think what they're called but um a bit like tinsel you've got the, the little thin tinsel strands in them as well and they just give off like a milk bath effect with like the white in there. So the first one that I done there was is is the pink, which is called Frillies. And this one is a nice peachy one, which is called Peachy. So with these ones, because they're glitter, I do swatch them on the inside. But for this collection, I think I should have swatched them on the top because you can see a difference in um, me swatching them underneath than on top. Um, 
they look more milky on when I do it on the inside. So this this bit looks more milky than it does the other way. So that one was called Shorties. Oh, I keep falling. I'm trying to keep them in view so you can sort of still see them as well and see how quickly they set up. And the next one we're going in with now, which is the nice green, is called Panties. So get, they've they've all got like these little mylar flakes in it and the little um what, what I'm going to call tinsel because I'm not quite sure what you call it but I'm I'm guessing it's tinsel. And then we are now going in with Frenchies. Frenchies maybe which is this gorgeous blue. I'm definitely doing a set of myself using these. I may even um, do the set that I created on my client, and just maybe twist it up a little bit more. So yeah, and then the last colour we're going in with now is called Bloomers, which is purple, and it's such a gorgeous purpley colour. It's like a great grape purple. So yeah, that's the, the swatching all finished now. So again, I will show you them all together and then all top coated. And yeah, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a comment and like and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.